There's a new chip on the block, coloured crisps. It says on the packet it's all potato. Would you like a crisp? Yes, please. So where are these colours coming from? To find out, I embark on a big trip to a country that knows a thing or two about potatoes. Welcome to Chile. First stop is the capital, Santiago. I think this might be one of the most sensational sunsets I've ever seen in my life. The next day, we fly 600 miles south to Puerto Montt. Then it's on to the port where our next mode of transport awaits. This ferry is my ride to what is apparently the home of the potato, Chilaway Island. And look, it's a seal. You see? I'm off to explore this remote island. And where better to start than the local market? Oh, sí. Ay, ay, mira. Ay, no, ay, mira. Oh, like this? Mira. I seem to have got a lot more than I bargained for. But all this dancing has given me an appetite. Fortunately, I've been invited for dinner with our guide and agricultural expert, Manuel Munoz, to get to the bottom of the coloured crisp conundrum. What's happening here? Here we have the Curanto. It's a typical dish from south of Chile. And some important ingredients. Hola, hola. Wow, look at all these, these potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. That is like a potato I've never seen before in my life. They're such funny shapes and colours. The studies say that there are at least 200 varieties. And how many do you think we've got in this bucket? We could say that this one variety, for example, this, this could be another variety. I think this, this is a variety another, all of its own. Another variety. Gosh, we must have so, at least a dozen different varieties different, in this pot. A lot of different varieties, yes. And it's not just an impressive selection of spuds that makes this small island a potato paradise. Evidence from DNA studies say that almost 99% of the varieties can be traced to the potato from Chiloé. That is incredible, isn't it? 99% of all potato varieties come from this island. And to start with, they probably look something like that. Amazing. So that's why I've made this epic journey to Chiloé. It's the scientifically proven original source of the spud. Well, what do they look like inside? Ah, As you can see. It's beautiful. It's not just the skin that's coloured. Even the flesh is a vibrant purple. This colour are pigment. Is that what's making the potato purple? The, the pigment makes the flesh uh, purple. Suddenly, it's all making sense. So this is where there is coloured crisp back home. This is where they get the colour from. Yes, with these potatoes, it's possible to do the, the coloured chips, yeah. What do they taste like when they're cooked? Maybe we can try. <laughs> but without an oven in sight, we'll have to do it Chilean style with some hot rocks, some massive leaves and a tarpaulin. So, while we wait for the potatoes to cook, there's a bit of a party happening. <laughs> An hour later, it's dinner time. And there they are. Look at that. That is one hot potato. I cannot wait to get my chops around some of this. Oh! And it's not just in colour these Chilean tubers differ from your average white spot. Do you like this? This one tastes different, a little bit like marzipan. <laughs> like marzipan? Yeah. yeah. Why on earth are we wasting our time with white potatoes? This is delicious. Yes. Yeah.